The amount of files we can store on a Google domain is completely changing. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, ever since the announcement of Google Workspace for Education, everyone is talking about storage because storage is changing. We used to have unlimited storage for any educational domain, well, that's going away. Now, the first tier is the free tier, and the free tier, the education fundamentals, will still get 100 terabytes of pooled storage. Now, what does that mean, pooled storage? Well, pooled means that the storage is shared out between every single user. So if one user has 99 terabytes of storage, then all the other users are left with a single terabyte. Now the education standard tier also comes with 100 terabytes of pooled storage. And then we have two additional paid tiers, the teaching and learning upgrade and the education plus. Now the teaching and learning upgrade will give you 100 terabytes of pooled storage plus an additional 100 gigabytes per user or per license. These are your teachers in the school. And then the Education Plus gives you the 100 terabytes of pooled storage plus an additional 20 gigabytes per license or per user. So all these different storage needs are making things very complicated and people are panicking because a lot of files are being stored on their G Suite domains. And now with the switch to Google Workspace, they want to know how do I find out how much storage is being used and which of my users are using up most of the storage. Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. And so we're going to jump into the admin console. Now this video is specifically for admins. So make sure that you have access to the admin console or simply share a link to this video with your admins. I will also have a written breakdown on my website. So if you click on that link in the description, you will be sent straight to that written overview on my website. Now let's dive into the admin console. Now here I have the admin console open, admin.google.com. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find your reports. So you can see here I have a icon that says reports, but I can also type in reports at the top. And once you're in your reports, the first thing you'll see on the right hand side is what storage is being used at the moment. Now this is the pooled storage. So how much is being used for your entire domain? As you can see here, I'm still well within the limits. Now, if you wanna have more details, you can always click on view details, and then this shows you which apps are storing and where the total usage is used. Now, I love using these charts because it gives you an indicator of sudden peaks of storage. So here you can see there was a peak here, and then this may require some further investigation as to why there was a sudden peak. We have another peak here. You can see it suddenly went up, so we're trying to investigate and find out exactly what was being stored on that day. Now, if you want to use the data presented in these charts in any other piece of software, you can always click on the download button in the top right corner, and then you can open it up in Google Sheets or download the CSV file. We're not going to do that right now. Now, I really want to find out which users are my power users, who's using up a lot of storage, and maybe we need to find a better way for them to store their files. Well, you can do that right here as well. On the left-hand side, you'll see there are user reports. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on those user reports and we're going to go to accounts. In my user reports, I will now see an overview of all the accounts here. You can see if they're active or not. And you also see a number of additional data points represented here. First of all, click on that cog wheel in the top right corner and make sure that the drive storage used is part of your data points. So you can see here, we can always add a new column by clicking on that drop down menu, but I already have it as part of my columns. Now I'm going to move it all the way up. So it makes it very easy for me to recognize which user is using the most storage. And I'm going to click on save. Here you can now see that this column represents how many megabytes each user uses. Now, sadly, there is no sort button here. So I can't sort them from biggest user to smallest user. I can always download this, open all the columns in this Google Sheets or a comma separated file, but I don't want to do that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a filter. So let's go ahead and click on this filter and we're going to go to drive storage used in megabytes. There we go. And then we choose a mathematical operator. The one we're choosing is greater than. Now do keep in mind, this is megabytes. So let's say that I want to see every user that has over 5,000 megabytes of data or information stored. Let's click on apply. And this filter will now run through my entire domain. And it gives me that single user 
with data storage. Now, again, if you have a lot of users, this is just a demo account. If you have a lot of users on your active domain, you just gradually increase that number until you have a breakdown of those power users. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, scroll down to that description, find our website, and have a look at our blog articles. Now, in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.